All right, YouTube, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Game one of the NBA Finals. We got the Denver Nuggets, the favorite team here on the west side of things. Then we have the Miami Heat, sort of the unexpected underdog story. Play-in game, eight seed now in the finals. Should be a pretty good series. In game one here, we have the Nuggets, minus eight and a half, and a total sitting at 219. Obviously, the series is tied as it is game one, but we're going to jump into both sides of this. We're going to look at the spread. I'm going to give you my lean on that. I'm going to give you my lean on the total as well, but keep an eye on the pinned comment to see what ultimately becomes something that I'm pulling the trigger on when I'm actually putting my own moolah on. Guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that like button as well. And before we do get into it, make sure you guys do go ahead and check out outlier outlier is becoming one of my favorite tools to use and honestly i shouldn't even say becoming it has become one of my favorite tools to use when researching for sports betting start betting on sports smarter today guys outlier is completely a visual tool red is good or excuse me green is good red is bad and you can see player trends team trends all that good stuff it really is insightful you can also see where the market is where the percent of bets on a game where is the percent of money if those things differ could be something to look into and some opportunity right use that link in the description as well as the pinned comment guys you can get a seven day free trial full transparency it's $19.99 per month after that as one of I think their most valuable plans that's still worth it in my opinion you hit a couple picks using outlier it's gonna pay for itself guys but if you do want to check it out and don't want to fork up the 20 bucks a month just go check out the free trial at least use it for seven days that's an opportunity in and of itself so find that link in the description as well as the pinned comment and let's go ahead and get into the spread of this game so denver minus eight and a half kind of surprising to see them open up at this line but i don't hate it my initial lean is going to be on denver minus eight and a half now they're coming off of a sweep against the Lakers. They've been the best team in their conference all season long. So this is a spot that they're familiar with. They've been here. Do you know what I mean? Um, and the fact is, they rest, they're rested. And Miami had to grind out a Game 7, an intense Game 7 series, or 7-game series against the Celtics. So I'm kind of banking on the rest here and them being the better team. All things are kind of aligning. Now, do I think 8.5 is doable Miami on the other side? for sure like i don't think that this is a a spot in which you know miami is going to get blown out or anything like that but i do think denver is far in a way better than the heat in full transparency i always admit when i'm wrong, I'm wrong right i probably thought the celtics were far in a way better than the heat at multiple times during the series as well so it this miami team can shock the world but eight and a half points we've seen denver um you know blow out the Lakers, blow out Phoenix in different games. They can do this against playoff teams. So um, does that become a final play? Kind of shaky on that one right now, if I'm being completely honest. I don't necessarily know because, again, this Heat team can stick around. The only thing I'm thinking is, is this the type of Heat game where it's like, oh, we've made it to the finals, and now they sort of regress? They haven't shown anything that would indicate they're going to regress now, but I do think this is a Nuggets series um, at 8.5 points. We'll pull the trigger on if we do feel fit, but it is going to be my lean. The play that probably has a strong chance, and I would say a really strong chance, of becoming a final play here is going to be the total of 219. I think Denver's going to dictate this game. They're the better team. They're the team that can dictate the pace. They are at home in game one of the finals. They feel like they should be there. Miami is probably excited to be there. I think Denver is going to dictate the pace of this game, and which is a very low total for them. They're coming off of you know pretty much every single game in their playoff run, right, had totals of, I guess we could say, you know, 220 and above. And now this is the lowest total that we've seen for them though thus far in the playoffs. Kind of interesting when you throw that in there because they've hit over 219 in games in eight of their last 10. And obviously looking at it from the playoffs perspective, they've been absolutely crushing this when it comes to that perspective of as well. They've been actually hitting overs when it's 227 and a half and that type of thing. So I do like the over in this game. Miami, we did see other than when they played the Celtics, have plenty of overs in this playoff run as well against Milwaukee most notably. But I think that this is a 219 game that is very doable, especially if uh, the Nuggets want to get out there and run which isn't their mo but you know when you're looking at these two teams and you're like nuggets or miami who's the team that plays more up tempo it's kind of surprisingly the nuggets and they're not a very fast-paced team overall but nonetheless i think it's a doable number at 219 that is where we're going to lean that has probably the strongest chance of becoming a final play here and i will say we're posting player props over on youtube shorts guys right on this account so make sure you're checking out the shorts on our channel as well or on tiktok or on uh, instagram reels that's where we're posting our player props there and we may throw in a couple of those 
those today as well. But as always, that is what we got for you guys. Hope you guys do like it. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. I will say on games, like I've been saying this all playoffs long at the end of videos, right? Don't force anything. Don't be a dummy and say, oh my God, I usually have 10 NBA plays during the regular season. Now there's only one game. I got to figure out how to get 10 plays. Come on, don't be a dummy. If you find one you really like, sure, maybe you can throw a little bit more extra on it because it is your one play of the night and you gotta have more of the juices flowing, but do not, do not go crazy, guys. Be smart with your money, especially when there's only one game. The NBA season is winding down. It's not a time to dig yourself out of a hole or anything like that, right? So uh, we're not doing that. I think we're up 17 units on the NBA season, down one and a half in the playoffs. It's been a tough playoff run. I'm not trying to get those one and a half units back from the playoffs. I'm looking at it saying, okay, wide picture. We're actually up on the NBA season. Let's keep doing our thing. So hopefully that helps you guys in some way, shape, or form. But yeah, nuggets on the spread and the over is going to be my lean in this game. Keep an eye on the pin comment to see what we actually pull the trigger on. And that's what I got for you guys. Hope you guys do enjoy. Catch you guys in the next one, right? Peace out.